100th Street Bridge hit by a number of vehicles last year will be replaced in 2020, but MDOT just finished sharing its plans for the new overpass during a public meeting late this afternoon. 13 on your side's Phil Dawson is live in Southern Kent County to tell us all about the project, Phil. Well, Juliet, there were two plans, and MDOT picked the one that most people seem to prefer. There won't be roundabouts at either end of the bridge, but there'll be traffic signals instead. After at least eight trucks smacked the bottom in just a few months, MDOT made the decision to replace the 100th Street Bridge over US 131. They've budgeted $10.5 million to build a new span that'll be a couple of feet taller and will add turning lanes for traffic going on to 131 from 100th Street. When the work is done, engineers say there should no longer be a problem with tall trucks hitting the bottom of the bridge. It's a bridge that needed assistance for a long time. I'm glad it's going to happen. When the semis hit it, we heard the boom and the boom, and uh, it was a very common occurrence. The bridge will be raised to uh, the new standard, which is 16 foot 3, so we'll have 16 foot 3 clearance underneath the roadway. Currently it's at 14 one, so it'll be a quite a jump in height. Now, MDOT says they were planning to replace the bridge eventually, but all the collisions with trucks gave it a higher priority. They expect to start tree clearing in March, and the project should be finished sometime next fall. Juliet?